Hey guys, welcome to today's What If. And before we start, I just want to say that we're close to 100 subscribers on the channel. So for the 100 subscriber special, I'm going to let you guys choose what video I'm going to do. So it can be the next part to What If Bardock Was King, another part to What If Yajirobe Trained, an Evil Morty from the Rick and Morty series Theory, or even the next part to what if Raditz showed up on Earth. I'll let you guys decide. Let me know what you think in comments. Now let's get started. So today's what if is what if instead of getting transported back in time, Bardock was sent to the future. So this isn't necessarily meaning that he'd go to where Planet Vegeta was because it's not really specified why he got sent back in time to start with. Yes, I know it may not be canon now. I'm not sure if it is or not because of a Broly movie. But let's just say he gets sent forward in time. Roughly 20 years. A bit longer actually. No, we'll say 20 years. And he's sent to planet Yardrat. So once Bardock arrived, he's very confused once he regains consciousness. And Bardock isn't a violent person, so he won't go and attack the Yardratians, or what, however you want to call them. And they tell him that they can tell that he's a Saiyan, but the Saiyans were killed many years ago all but a few remain and this starts to jog Bardock's memory of how Freezer wiped out the planet the explosion that left him what he thought would kill him and Bardock is trying to come to terms with this he doesn't know what to do so for now he has to stay on the planet and train so after a couple of years of training on this planet, getting stronger, learning the instant transmission technique. It's a quiet day, and then a ship crashes into one of the buildings. That's right, it's Goku. So, once this strange man, weak after his battle with Freezer, gets out of the ship, the yard rats they're looking at him and they instantly recognise the, similar, the similarities between him and Bardock. They call him over and he goes, It's Kakarot, my son. So Bardock makes sure that Goku is trek and brought back to full health. And once he is, that's when he introduces himself as Kakarot. It's been a long time. Goku's confused and he just goes You know my Saiyan name? You look like me? What's going on? But Bardock explains that he is his father He doesn't know what happened to him But he explains that he was somehow sent forward into the future And now he's there And he knows that Kakarot has just defeated Freezer. And Goku he looks at his father and goes You're right, I have just fought Freezer. I've beaten him. Bardock smirks and says, Finally, that tyrant is dead. And this is when Goku just goes, Well I didn't kill him. Bardock just sharply turns around and goes, What? You didn't kill him? Goku says, I let him go. He was no threat to anyone. He was cut in half. And I couldn't kill him. It was more merciful just to leave him. Bardock is furious with his son, saying, That tyrant killed our entire race. Your mother... A planet, everyone. Who's left? You, me. 
and Goku points out that Vegeta's alive as well. And Bardock says, that's irrelevant. There's three of us remaining from the same race. Goku says about his son as well. Uh, you have a son, Kakarot. So, now the next few months are spent with the two Saiyans training each other and bonding. And after a year, the amount of time that Goku would actually spend on Planet Yardra anyway, that's when they decide to head to Earth. But, because Goku's ship was only big enough for one, they have to use the instant transmission and get straight to Earth. So Goku and Goku has to lock on to Piccolo's power because he's probably the strongest one that he could lock on to. After all, he doesn't know Vegeta would still be on Earth. And Bardock, because he doesn't know any of these power levels, he has to just hold on to Goku and get transported there. So, when they do this, this is about the time when all the Z fighters are preparing to fight Frieza. So, they're all in shock that Goku has just appeared, and they're even more shocked about this person that stood with him. And Vegeta just laughs and goes, Kakara, your father. Where the hell did you find him? And Bardock looks on at Prince Vegeta and goes, Well, the Prince is just as arrogant as his father. And Vegeta squares up to Bardock and says, and starts acting aggressive towards him. Bardock simply says, Look, we've got bigger things to worry about. Freezer's coming and King Cold. Do you really want them to be picking a fight? One that you can't win. So, I haven't specified how much stronger Bardock's become. Let's think of it this way. Initially, being sent forward in time, he was brought to near death from Freezer's blast. So, his power level, he would have already have just got a Zenkai boost from... I believe his power level was roughly 10,000. So he would have gone to about 18,000 with how badly beaten he'd been. And then nearly to death from Freezer's Blast. I mean, really, a shot like that could that kill the rest of the Saiyans. Bardock must have got a massive Zenkai boost. And originally, he became a Super Saiyan quite soon after. So he must have got incredibly stronger so I said before he even started training he was about 90,000 at least so we'll just leave the power levels at that so as they're making their way over to where Freezer lands this is when Trunk shows up and all that happens the same when Trunks comes over and notices that Goku's there, he's very confused. He only came into a battle because he thought that Goku wasn't going to make it. And he believes that he has messed up big time. So, I'm going to leave it here now. With Trunks looking on at Goku in confusion, Bardock back and stronger than ever, with all the Z fighters just after Freezer has been killed. So guys, let me know what you think in the comments below. If you liked it, please remember to like, subscribe and share the video. It means a lot guys. Thanks for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.